In this video I'll show you how to turn your Minecraft from looking like this into looking like that. First of all, some requirements. You will need at least a somewhat decent computer in order to run these mods smoothly. I would recommend at least a 6 core processor and at least an RTX 3070 graphics card. Also 16GB of RAM. The mods that you will need in order your Minecraft to look like this are Big Globe, C2ME, Creative Core, Distant Horizons of course, Fabric API, Iris, Noisium and Sodium. First of all, I will show you how to install all of these mods and then at the end of the video I will show you some of the secret settings that I found out to uh, get high FPS with these mods, so stick around. Okay, so now we'll show you how to download and install the Distant Horizon mod. So, first of all, we will need a mod loader. Mod loader of my choice would be Fabric because it's really lightweight and really optimized for current versions of Minecraft. So, I will leave the link in the description to this website. So, just go in here and click on download, download for Windows, save, and as you can see, Fabric installer. So, open it up. And this box should pop, pop up. So, uh, the Minecraft version that we would choose is the latest version that's supported on Distant Horizon. So, right now it's uh, the max version of Distant Horizons is 1.21.1. So just uh, click this, and then click on Install. And as you can see in a few seconds, it's, it's installed already. So just close this, and now we will need to load Minecraft at least once. So open up the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see in the Minecraft launcher, uh, we already have the Fabric mod loader 1.21.1. So just uh, uh, select this and click play. And make uh, Minecraft uh, run at least once and then close it. So after you run Minecraft, uh, go back into your browser. And then we will download the Distant Horizons mod. So mm -hmm. just go into another tab if you want and then type in Distant Horizons and uh, it should either pop up for the Cursed Forge or Modrinth. So I'm going to either one and as you can see Distant Horizon. So this is the actual mod to make the Minecraft uh, uh, render distance really good. So just click the download button right here and then all game versions. So as I said before, the latest version right now is 1.21.1. So and then select Fabric because we are using the Fabric mod loader. Then click on download file then we'll have to load the uh, wait a few seconds in order for it to download okay so click on save and as you can see the distant horizons mod is down now now downloaded so in order to install this on your keyboard you need to press windows key plus r at the same time so the, this box opens up and in here you will type in percent app data percent and then click on okay in here you will see dot minecraft so open it up and there should be a folder called mods. If this folder is not here for you, you can just right click anywhere in this folder and then click on new and then create a new folder and make sure to name it mods exactly like this with all lowercase letters. So open up the mods folder. In here I already have all these mods installed that we need but it's not actually needed, there's just a, a few optional mods, I will discuss them later on with you. So go into your downloads folder and you should see distant horizon so just copy this file from your downloads folder into your mods folder and yeah this is how you install it it's a replace for me because i already have it but yeah this is how you install distant horizons and also to install other mods just go into the google search mm -hmm. and then type in the mod and then minecraft so for example we will also need a big globe big globe mod minecraft i will type this i will also leave all the links in the description for all the mods that you need but in case you want them you want to download them yourself you just do it like this and then open up the first website and in here just click on download then select the game version so for us it will be 1.21.1 and then the platform fabric okay and then click on download so this mod will download exactly like as on the previous website and yeah uh, also to install it again then go into this folder and from your downloads folder just drag and drop the mod into your mods folder also completely optional you can install a shader so go to this website i will leave the link in the description and in here you will see all the shader packs that are supported by uh, distant horizon so my choice would be bliss so just click on download shader pack and the shader pack will download right here so then again go into windows plus and in here 
uh, you will see dot minecraft so just go into that dot minecraft and there should be shader packs so just do as i did with the mods before just go into your downloads folder and from here just drag and drop it into your shader packs folder okay so before playing uh, with these mods go into the installations right here and then select the fabric mod loader and then click these uh, three dots right here then go into edit and then allocate more ram i would uh, advise you to allocate at least 8 gigabytes if you can so for example if you have 16 gigabytes of ram total in your system then i would suggest you to uh, allocate at least 8 but for the best uh, case scenario i would suggest 12 or more but for me i have 32 so i will allocate uh, uh, 12 gigabytes of ram in here and then click on save and then you can click play okay so after you've installed all of these mods go into options then into video settings and if you've downloaded any shaders then enable them through here and as you can see this makes minecraft look really really good it's way better than the vanilla look and yeah and then in here go into the distance horizons config and then enable rendering and then set the distance radius how, however much you want and in here this is the most important setting cpu load if you are lagging set this to low impact and if you want the world to load really fast then select i paid for the whole cpu and that's it basically you will just need to, to uh, keep in mind that you will also need to leave it this running for about five to six hours depending on your computer to uh, render it out as i did right here with the huge huge render distance because when you first of all st uh, start to world it will not look like this you will need to wait quite a bit so if you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching